Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, a little bit late, but here's the update on my fruit harvest for 2024. We decided to see how much soft fruit we actually got off my allotments. And this is the prize uh, for the winner. If you're in the UK, that is. If not, we'll sort something else out. But let's have a little look round first before we look at the scores on the boards. This time of the year is really nice, isn't it? These are some of the blueberry uh, bushes that we planted up into the pots. Still not convinced uh, about these for what we get <laughs> and how long it takes to pick the blueberries off. But there were only some of the things that I've actually bought. So I did buy the blueberry bushes. The uh, red and black currants that we've got here they're all what was either on the plot or what I've uh, scratted. Uh, these are already showing the buds already. Same with the gooseberry brushes. They were uh, gifted and I've took some cuttings and I'll be gifting to uh, others. Uh, I did buy this summer fruit in raspberry and it's all been pruned back. We can prune those back as soon as they've finished fruiting the summer ones. The autumn ones we wait till later on in the year and obviously you have to take out the, the stems that fruited this year and this is what grew this year so we just have to make sure we get that right. But I did purchase those and again we've got some more gooseberries. There's the blueberry that was in the ground. It hasn't done any good again this year. So it does prove a point. If you do like your blueberries, keep them in containers. They will produce more because the roots are restricted. They think they're going to die. But this year's been a really good year for uh, the soft fruit. The weather conditions were just right. It doesn't suit all our vegetables and fruits. It certainly certainly uh, helped these. Let's hope they don't start sprouting too early with the strange weather we're having. The colours are changing. It's getting cooler. Had our first few frosts. Still producing berries here and there, but these are the black berries. And these were on this plot. Didn't have to buy these as I was digging over plot one if you look at uh, hashtag starting a new allotment there's a, a series of videos there from when we first opened the gate right through to where we are now well i say now i've still changed things these are the autumn fruit in raspberries these get cut down to the ground autumn fruit in raspberries grow on that year's growth so we don't have to worry about it like we do the summer fruiting Dahlias have uh, got really frosted with that uh, frost that we had uh, the other morning. But overall, again, if I'd have picked and picked and picked, I'd have probably got a bit more. But due to the circumstances this year with uh, Mrs K, uh, I've had to just do my best. And new for this year was the alpine strawberries. I sowed these from seed. I did an experiment. I froze some of the seed first and then didn't the others. And the ones that were frozen did better. I need to get those hacked down. I wasn't expecting a harvest. Excuse me. But we did manage to weigh a few of these. They didn't weigh much. But every little bit helped. And so over the cooler months as it starts raining again over the cooler months and when they've uh, dormant it's well worth asking your fellow gardeners if they've got any root cuttings not well, root cuttings but bare roots and if you can't ask for them you can purchase them as bare roots and uh, you can take shelter while it's raining but you can get your bare roots and even if you haven't got somewhere to plant them straight away you can just dig a hole and uh, heal them into the ground and then move them in the spring. It 
two days nice weather and we're back to rain again don't like moaning about the weather now especially what you see the weather conditions uh, some people are getting all over the world the uh, Cape uh, gooseberries have uh, done well I'm certainly uh, enjoying those so is uh, Mrs K well worth growing even if I can't reach them properly so we started this off as soon as uh, some of the things had started to grow uh, I do need to total everything up to see what I actually physically got but these uh, people decided to uh, have a guess and we uh, kept on top of it <laughs> the best we could and uh, we ended up with a total of 72.788 kilograms now the two nearest people were Phil and uh, Neil and uh, the difference uh, was uh, very close indeed but the winner was eventually Neil A so Neil if you can uh, email me please and if you're in the UK I'll send those uh, walkie talkies off to you but uh, thank you for everybody who decided to take part and have a little guess but uh, 73 kilos of uh, fruit over the summer period was quite interesting to see and I was going to work it out how much average it would have cost but we're not going to buy that much fruit and uh, most of it's been uh, frozen uh, there are the black currants there are the uh, red currants blackberries some of the totals throughout the season, blueberries, some alpine strawberries there, gooseberries, some raspberries, and the white currants, which I was disappointed, but I have got some cuttings, so I'm going to plant more white currants. A lot of my beds now have been covered up, it won't be long. I normally prune my, most of my fruit between Christmas and uh, New Year. There's the Apria and walking onions need a weed. Weeds are loving this weather. The blight has now moved over onto this bed. And uh, I'll see if I can salvage what I can. But I don't mind a little bit of blight this time of the year. Not sure whether it's in the polytunnel yet or not. Uh, we look uh, blight free in the tunnel didn't go anywhere near those so i can come in here there's a few cum cucumbers left a few tomatoes the celery is doing well and uh, yes it is leaf miner that's beet leaf miner uh, i did find the uh, the maggots within those leaves they actually crawl between the the fly lays its egg under the leaf the caterpillar emerges and then gets between the leaves chewing away at it so I need to take all the contaminated leaves off before the grubs decide to drop down and hide and then emerge as the flies but we've got a few nice tomatoes that one's just started to go rotten there's a few more going rotten but I'd rather grow more than I need But I promise not to grow too many varieties next year, but I do need to start seed saving. And we'll leave you with the cuttings that we took in 2023-24, the winter of. And they've been growing nicely. Once the leaves drop off, we'll have a little look, see if uh, they've got good root systems. And if they have, we'll be potting those up separately. And then passing on if I don't need them. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down for the interaction. Leave me a comment. Give those comments the thumbs up in the comments box. Join in with those comments. Share anything you would like about fruit bushes and what you do. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. 
after half an hour. Don't forget the end screens, check them out.